and me know that our love will last forever. My girl and me know that we do belong together. Sometimes it seems I shatter our dreams with some careless word of foolish lies. Yes, me, thanks. <laughs> Do you want an ice, Uncle Derek? No, thanks, I've given up. <laughs> Can I have one of those, Jim? It's all right, I've given up smoking too. Put the milk in, but it's not stale. All right, thank you. <laughs> right, now, has everybody read the report? I've got a page to go, but I've read it before. Yeah, Derek, don't wait for me. I wrote the rotten thing. <laughs> well, listen, this is our last chance before tomorrow's meeting with Oliver at the bank. Now, has anyone got anything to say? What's there to say? We're behind on repayments of the bank loan. Four companies have gone to the wall, owing us a fortune. We owe £20,000 to our creditors. However you look at it, we're out of the running for this year's Queen's Award for Industry. Mm. <laughs> well, keep emphasising the negative aspects of this report. There must be something you like about it. Well... Yes? It's very neatly typed. There's a very few misspellings. Well, I'm rather fond of the cover. Oh, there we are. Neatly typed, nice spelling, knockout cover. That's it, Derek. <laughs> Great. Make some club sandwiches. <laughs> you could stun a dinosaur with those. If only we could tell Oliver about one definite contract. Isn't there anything on the horizon? No, Nell, I'm afraid it's crunch time. If Oliver at the bank tomorrow won't extend our credit, well, I'll just have to sell the house. Sell the house? Hello, Maddie. Oh, hello, Mr. Harrop. Oh, do you like the sandwich? <gasps> Oh, no, Sam. I couldn't manage another thing. Mr Sharma took me to his restaurant, where he had prepared a traditional Scottish supper for me. cock a leaky soup, haggis and stovies, and my favourite pudding, clouty dumpling. Oh. All this in an Indian restaurant? It was absolutely authentic, Mrs Cresset. Even the waiter, Mr Tunibala, was wearing a kilt. <laughs> Please forgive me this intrusion. Oh, shy am. I forgot all about you. Please, may I introduce Mr. Sharma's brother and business partner, shy am Sharma. Hello. How do you do? He has a business matter he'd like to discuss with you. Really? Please, please, please. Well, we are shortly holding a conference on Indian restaurants. Other companies we've approached have not been able to meet the requirements of my uncle, Babu Bhatti. He's the president of Burp. British Indian restaurant proprietors. Ah, oh, well, I should think we could possibly squeeze in a meeting sometime this week, Derek. Um, what's the budget for your conference? Well, minimum fifty thousand pounds. Uh, how about first thing tomorrow morning? <laughs> how about our meeting with you? No, 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 Derek. You and Nell can handle that. After all, Nell Oliver's one of your oldest friends. Yes, and after reading this, he'll feel considerably older. <laughs> Depressing, isn't it? Yeah, frightful weather. <laughs> I mean your financial situation. <laughs> Is there anything you'd like us to clarify? I don't think so, Nell. It's all horribly clear as it is. Some accountants try to dress up their figures, but Derek just lets them speak for themselves. 
poor mute wretches. <laughs> Did you get my projected business forecast for the coming year? No, but I'm on page 140 of the latest Le Carre thriller. I only read one work of fiction at a time. <laughs> Believe me, Oliver, Simon and Derek couldn't have worked harder this year. Five product launches, three sales conferences, two nationwide campaigns, and what was the other thing? A partridge in a pear tree, perhaps? <laughs> Video training film, How to Survive the Slump. That was the Bostock School of Business, yes? Yes. Which went bust the day you delivered it, yes? <laughs> yes. We have had a slight run of bad luck. A slight run? This is the equivalent of the London Marathon. <laughs> we are doing our damnedest to get new business. In fact, even at the moment, Simon is with a potential client. It looks very hopeful. When will you know for certain? The end of the week. All right, we'll postpone our decision till then. Oh, thank you, Oliver. Now, let's meet again, say, 4.30 Friday. Fine, I'm sure we'll have some good news by then. I do hope so, Derek, despite the date. Uh, what is it? Friday the 13th. <laughs> Mr. Harrop, mm? any dictation you want, Doc? Uh, no, not at the moment, thanks, Liz. Well, want anything typed? Uh, no, thanks. Well, do you want anything retyped? <laughs> You're right. Well, can I just stay in here till it stops thundering? <laughs> Are you scared? I'm terrified. All my family's terrified of thunder since Uncle Nick was hitting Bognor Regis. Did he survive? Yeah, but all his fillings fell out. <laughs> Worst to come. Three days after he had them put back, he was it again. The same place? Nah, this time it was the Edgware Road. No, Liz, what I mean is, did his fillings fall out again? Oh, worse than that. His gold teeth melted and stuck together. <laughs> So he had to have them out. His gold teeth? Yeah, all of them. Well, he didn't want it happening a third time. So now when it thunders, he takes his falsies out and chucks them in the garden. <laughs> he's lost six pairs like that. He's struck by lightning again. Nah, his dog keeps burying them. <laughs> Mr. Harrop. That'll be Mr. Sharma. Ah, oh, Mr. Sharma. <laughs> My uncle Babu Bhatti and the rest of the committee are on the way upstairs. Fine, I hope you didn't get too wet in this rain. Oh, do not worry yourself, Mr. Harrop. My uncle's fleet of limousines brought us right to the door. Ah, your uncle is uh, well off. <laughs> well off. Between you and me, Mr. Harrop, he stinks. Oh? <laughs> <laughs> ah, good morning. Simon Harrop, my uncle Babu Bhatti. Oh. Very pleased to meet you. <laughs> This is my secretary, Liz. Nainu tande wale, mat bhare ho. Jaise shayad bari meethe, mere te jaise bhooke di piyaz bujanda sande de de. Yeah, right. What did he say? He says you're a joy to the eye with lips that promise more sweetness than honeycomb to a hungry man such as himself. Oh, well he can have a biscuit with his coffee, yes. <laughs> If you'd like to go through into the inner office. Uh, may I introduce the rest of the committee? Yes. Uh, Dulbati, Gulbati, Sudbati, Halsibati, Fancybati, Bimbati, Bantibati, and the last but not least, Andrew Bati. Andrew? Ah, yes. The first Bati to be born in this country and on the same day as Randy. I beg your pardon. On the same day as Prince Andrew. Oh, I see. Right, did you go? <laughs> Imagine a little chap like that having all them kids. Yeah. But before he had him, you know, he was over six foot. <laughs> oh, hello, Mrs. Cresset. How did it go with the bank manager? Like the weather, frequent squalls with outlook cloudy. <laughs> did Uncle Barmy turn up? Mr. Batty. Batty, Batty. It's been with Mr. Harrop nearly an hour. Simon, we're back. All right, coming right out. We've been given a stay of execution. I was just saying we have until Friday. Friday the 13th. Hmm? To secure the contract. How's it going? Unbelievably well, actually. We've got as far as finalising the dinner cabaret for the last night of the conference. Cabaret? <laughs> they want a cabaret. Oh, I I'm a terrific tap dancing act. Really? Who? <laughs> Please. Sorry, Mrs. Cresset. Ah, gentlemen. 
Mr. Sharma, Mr. Bhatti, may I introduce you to uh, two of my directors? This is Nell Cresset and uh, Derek Gates. Please. In your absence, we've been discussing a particular star for the cabaret. Uh huh. Forgive this interruption, by the call of me. No, 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 thank you, Liz. Oh, I'll be right back to work. Then when you are away, just in case you want to dance a boy, you're doing the cab ride. I'm sorry, you were saying, Mr. Batty. It's very necessary that the son of a little dad is showing his son. Uh, Mr. Batty understands English perfectly, but likes to speak in his own native tongue. And I'm using my tongue to tell you what his tongue is saying. अगर मैं अपनी जिंदगी में विश देख गया ये था दिन मार्टिन सी मैं चाहा कि दिन मार्टिन इस महफिल का करता धरता होए जेकर आप दिन मार्टिन नहीं लिया तो क्यों तो इस महफिल का सारा काम तूने देता जाएगा माय अंकल इस सेइंग ही मस्ट हैव अ पर्टिकुलर स्टाफ द कैबरे other companies we've approached have not been able to guarantee him. I see, and this particular star, uh, Mr. Barty, I heard the name, you didn't mention the name... Uh... Dean Martin. <laughs> <laughs> the Dean Martin. But surely he's in America. Actually, no, no, he's not. He's over here for the All-Star Golf Classic. But you see, you see, Mr. Barty, these international stars, they're, they're booked up years in advance. No Dean Martin, no contract. <laughs> Mr. Dean Martin can be got. We'll get him for you. Do you think it will be possible? Let's just say I'm quietly confident. Let's just say you're quietly nuts. Uh, can I just have a quick word with my directors? Uh, do excuse us for a moment. Now look, we've got to give it a try. If we can get Dean Martin, we get the contract, the bank extends our credit, I don't have to sell my house. And if we don't get him? Can you recommend a good estate agent? <laughs> Where? Over your shoulder. What? Salt. Hmm? It's bad luck, especially today. Why? It's Friday the 13th. Oh. oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Maddie. Oh, it's all right, Sam. It was in my horoscope. A day of unpleasant surprises. Before making decisions of a financial nature, sleep on it. Yes, well, it's too late for that, Maddie. This afternoon I've got to tell Mr. Sharma's uncle that I couldn't contact Dean Martin, so the decision's been made for me. I'll have to sell the house. Oh, no. Not this lovely house. Yes, if the company goes bust, Nell will lose every penny she's invested. Well, don't worry, Maddie. We'll find a house with room for you, too. Oh, no. Forget about me. I'm not important. Oh, if this house went well, it could be the start of a whole wonderful new life for me. I'm really quite excited about it. In fact, if you'll excuse me, I'll just go to my room and try to contain myself. <laughs> and I'm not crying. There's still some salt in my eyes. Morning, Maddie. Do you like my outfit? <laughs> Took one look at me and burst into tears. I'm not surprised. You look repulsive. I borrowed this lot from Muriel's brother, Kevin. Oh, is that the one that makes his own dresses? <laughs> of the kind. He just happens to be very good with a sewing machine, does curtains and loose covers. Well, I don't like the set you're wearing. <laughs> this is for Dean Martin's benefit. Apart from singing, he has three great loves. Booze, women, and number three... More booze. No, no, no. <laughs> Look at the way I'm dressed. He's crazy about... Male hairdressers. <laughs> no, he's crazy about golf. Apparently this morning, according to the paper, he's going to play at Royal Dorkridge. Now, my brother-in-law happens to be a member there, and I've got his golf bag and sticks in the car. Clubs, Uncle Derek. Clubs in the car. So if we get a move on, we can be there by 11.30. No, but Derek, he'll most probably be surrounded by a wall of business aides and bodyguards. I've got it all worked out. We wait on the first hole until he comes down the last hole. Apparently, they're next door to each other. Then you knock your ball onto his bit of the pitch. Uncle Derek, it's called a fairway. And that sort of thing is a breach of golf etiquette. 
Well said, sir. Look, we are fighting for our corporate lives, so Yabu sucks to golf etiquette. <laughs> anyway, he's, he's a pretty friendly chap, so I hear, so you'll probably stroll over, you know, the sort of thing. <laughs> Pally's ring-a-ding-ding, -ding. happy new year. Everybody loves samba. Boo -boo 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 -boo. I didn't know Yogi Bear played golf. At that moment, you say that you've lost your ball, and while you're looking for it, I subtly introduce the subject of Indian restaurants. And before you can say, Harry Krishna, the gorillas break all the bones in our body. I can't believe it. What? Well, the thrill of actually talking... Dean Martin. Oh. Sam, Sam. Is, she, is she a big fan of his? I don't know. This is the first I've heard of it. Why did she faint? Because <laughs> I was just practising. Very realistic, Sam. Oh, listen, Dad, it is half term, so I could come with you, and if I fainted, and Dean Martin might think I'm one of his fans, he'll wait till I've recovered, which could be as long as you like. Brilliant, Sam. Chaps Italian, after all, and they're all crazy about bambinis. Yeah, not this bambino. I'm sorry, Sam, you're not leaving the house. But, Dad, we may have to all leave this house if we don't give it a try. I know it's a loony idea, but it might work. Yes, and so unless you have a better idea, grab your clubs and let's get down to Dorkridge. Look, Derek, are we so desperate for a contract that we're going to stoop to load trickery? Yes. <laughs> get my clubs. Still no sign of him. Good. <laughs> bold, aren't they? I suppose Kevin knitted these himself, did he? Yeah, they started out as bed socks, but they went a bit wrong. <laughs> hey, I think this is him. Let's see. <gasps> Look at the size of those bodyguards. What have they got to guard him against on a golf course? From idiots like you. <laughs> I'd, I'd go first. No, actually, don't you... You don't play golf. No, it makes it more believable if I do the duff shot, you see? Derek, Derek. No, Derek, no. Derek, come back, come back. Hold the, hold the club. Hold the club as if you're, you know when you, you that's, yeah, right, right. Right, yeah, now swing your body around a bit more. More. The feet can come too, Derek. Now bend your knees, iron the ball, and keep your head steady. Stop nagging me, you're beginning to sound like Muriel. Right. Four. He's just in hold. Which is more than can be said for Derek. Just limbering up, that's all. <coughs> Here we go. Derek. Derek. <laughs> this is harder than it looks, isn't it? Just a teeny bit, yes. Yeah. Oh, hurry up. He's getting nearer. Third time, Lucky. Four! Super shot, Uncle Derek. It wasn't bad, was it? No, the only thing is your ball went that way, and Dean Martin is coming up this way. <laughs> He's just about to make his second shot. Right, I'll just knock one halfway down his fairway. Derek, please. <laughs> Derek, now I don't know where the ball's gone. I don't think we've got time for that. Come on, Sam. You want me to faint? No, I want you to run. <laughs> Mr. Hallock, mm. did you see Mrs. Cressett? No, why? Well, she phoned just after you left, and when I said you were off golfing, she said she was coming out to meet you. Ah, uh, yes, well, we had to leave a little earlier than anticipated. Did you get Dean Martin? Yeah, right on the nut. <laughs> Hi. Oh, hello. You might have said you weren't coming in this morning. Darren's been hanging around all day. Darren? Who's Darren? A boyfriend. Huh? He's a professional acquaintance. And he does this terrific impersonation of Dean Martin. Oh, so you think we might be able to persuade Mr. Batty to accept Darren instead of the real thing? <laughs> well, he sounds just like him at a fraction of the cost. Is he any good? Well, look, you go into your office and listen to the voice first. All right. Darren, I bet you won't be able to tell the difference. Right, that's him. Off you go. 
Everybody loves somebody sometimes. Everybody falls in love somehow. Something. Hey, that's very good, Darren. Thank you. You're very like it. <laughs> very like um, uh, Liz. Liz. I do it all the time. One of my best impersonations is Enoch Powell. Do you want to see it? Ah, <laughs> uh, Mr. Batty. <laughs> Everybody finds somebody so Not good. now, Darren. We'll let you know. <laughs> my uncle has drawn up a letter of agreement. If you have been successful in getting Mr. Martin, he'll formalise it. Yes, well, we tried everything possible to contact Mr. Dean Martin. Yes, we rang the hotel, we left messages, hung around the lobby. In fact, we hit him... With a golf ball. No, <laughs> what I was going to say, we hit him at every means of our disposal. Ah, huh? no. My uncle wishes to know only one thing. Hmm? Will Dean Martin do the cabaret? Uh, well, the answer to your question, Mr. But it has to be... Yes. I have his personal guarantee that he'll make an appearance. What? I missed you at the golf course, but fortunately I encountered dear Mr. Martin. I'm afraid I rather took advantage of the lovely man. You took advantage of Dean Martin? <laughs> well, he was in rather a groggy state. Some idiot had hit him on the head with the golf ball. <laughs> Happily, I was able to bring my nursing experience to bear, and after a couple of aspirins and an ice pack on the bump, he was putty in my hands. Oh, incidentally, Mr. Batty, hearing what a fan you are, he very kindly gave me this signed photograph for you. Huh? Where is that Dean Martin in? He says it's not Dean Martin. I assure you it is. No, 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 I have seen all the film. This is the other one. Which other one? The one with the voice. No, but <laughs> Dean Martin does sing. It is the other one I want, the thin one. With the funny voice. You mean Jerry Lewis? Jerry Lewis, we want you for the camera. Ah, ah, well, ah, uh, well, uh, hey, Dean, ah, uh, where's Dean? Ah, uh, well, ah, uh, uh, I got this now, ah, uh, uh, well, ah, uh, that's my only stem across the devil, and all of a sudden my stomach went. <laughs> What's all this? It's a garage sale. Only we don't have a garage. And what's the charity? Us. I don't want to move. Sam, after a slight bit of a misunderstanding, we finally did get the contract, and the bank manager is extending our loan, so we do not have to move. Oh, Dad, that's terrific. Oh, Sam, you're not selling these. Yeah, two pounds, it's yours. But these are all Beethoven symphonies. Well, they're boring. Got them a couple of Christmases ago. I don't know who gave them to me. Me. <laughs> oh, well, in that case, you can have them for a quid. <laughs> Samantha wants a taste of independence tomorrow at 1.30. Now, over on Breeze, the gals from New York have all the chat on The View. Whilst here, we're upstairs, downstairs. And that's next on Granada Plus, home of the hits.